Welcome back. Hodges University proudly states they are one of the most premier private universities in the state of Florida. They are always making sure they are providing the best options for their students. And here to tell us more about their Hispanic Institute at Hodges is Adriana Butrago. She's the director of the Hispanic Institute at Hodges University. Good morning. Good morning. So it's interesting uh, about this Hispanic Institute as I was kind of thinking it was new. But there is, it's not necessarily new, you've been around for a little while, but there is a new direction that you're excited to tell everybody uh, about this morning. So how do you describe what the Hispanic Institute is, Adriana? Well, the mission of the Hispanic Institute is to strengthen the understanding, awareness, and impact mm -hmm. of Hispanic cultures in Southwest Florida and also at Hodges University. Which I think is very important these days. We were talking about uh, kind of, how, you know, how big the Hispanic community is right now and certainly at Hodges University. So why was it that you guys really felt that you needed to have this type of institute and this kind of resource for people? Well, his, the Hispanic population in Southwest Florida is now at 45%. Mm. And that's mirroring actually our own Hispanic population at Hodges at 44%. Wow. And so we just thought, uh, if you look at the statistics actually, 20% uh, mm -hmm. of Hispanics in, uh, in Lee County mm -hmm only have a college degree and 23 percent in, in uh, Collier County mm -hmm. have a college degree so we thought it would be a great opportunity to reach out to them and help them you know be successful in their educational yeah, uh, journey, wherever that may be. Correct. Well, it was funny, we were talking in the commercial break how what I love about Hodges is you guys really are kind of um, in tune with uh, what business owners, business leaders, you know, are doing in the community, what they're saying, what they're needing, and obviously you guys are seeing that this is a need to really kind of improve what's going on in the uh, Hispanic community exactly. when it comes to education. Right, and that's exactly what we would like to do is just look at what the needs are, the real needs of the mm -hmm. Hispanic population and, and just help take down those barriers yeah. and help them find solutions. And what are those needs? I mean, we were talking about even the, you know, the language barriers sometimes. You have, you know, really intelligent people that are ready to, to be doctors and nurses and, and dentists in the area, right. but sometimes it's just a language barrier right exactly. now. Exactly. Or maybe just know uh, a little bit about the system, how to go about different things. They just come from different cultures and mm -hmm. do not know a thing about the American culture. So acculturating them is also important, I think. Well, tonight is the perfect night to learn more about what this new mission is, about who you guys are, and uh, there's a big party going on tonight you want to invite everybody to, right? In yes. honor of Cinco de Mayo. Absolutely. So we're trying to celebrate Cinco de Mayo and, and, and educate people as to what Cinco de Mayo is really about. In addition to, uh, just tell people about the new direction, new mm -hmm. mission, new goals, and, and just invite everybody to join. So the party is tonight at 5.30, uh, but this is at the Naples location. I want to make sure people yes. know that there's, because uh, Hodges is growing so fast, you guys right. actually have two beautiful locations. So this party is going to be tonight at the Naples, the Naples location, campus. right? 5.30 exactly. until how long? Kind of explain the setup. What can people expect when they go out there? Well, it's going to be until 7 p.m., mm -hmm. and there's going to be music, there's going to be um, dance, mm -hmm. Mexican dance, and uh, Mexican food. So it's all about uh, Mexico. Just okay. Everything is Mexican themed. Uh, but also expect just to learn about the Hispanic Institute and see how we can get people engaged. Yep. And you said there are going to be margaritas, but non-alcoholic margaritas, Correct. which are still just as tasty, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so again, come out tonight, 530, the Hodges University location in Naples. And as we close here, if anyone, you know, whether Hispanic or not, or, you know, they're hearing the success stories that are coming out of Hodges University, which is always fun to hear. What would you suggest they do to kind of figure out when the next semester is starting, when they can get involved? Is it easy just to go online? Should they come in, make an appointment with somebody? What would you suggest they do? Well, we have all kinds of opportunities. So if they rather do just online, mm -hmm. we'll be more than happy to help them that way. If they like to call in instead or just drop by, we have uh, admissions people mm -hmm. at all times just helping people get registered and get ready for a new term. Awesome. And then if somebody wants to find out more about the uh, Hispanic Institute, what should, what should they do? Well, they can call me actually um, at 598-239, 598 mm -hmm. 6235. My name is Adriana, and mm -hmm. I'll be happy to see how we can help. Well, Adriana, we're so happy that you were here this morning, and I hope you guys have a good time tonight celebrating Cinco Thank de Mayo. We Thank appreciate you. it. We look forward to having Hodges back. Thank you for the opportunity. I appreciate it. All righty. We will send it over to Stephanie. All right, so now that you've cleaned up your resume, it is time to focus on cleaning your home. We bring in the maids with the muscle to help tackle your mess. That's coming up next.